welcome to the Quantum Healing Show, where we guide you through dimensions, from the third, to the fifth, and beyond. Join us on this transformative journey, building bridges to a new world you create. Strap in, and buckle up, you're in the driver's seat of your own reality. We are your guides, providing insights into the healing process, and the knowledge to construct your bridge to abundance, and prosperity. Introducing your host of the Quantum Healing Show, Dr. Sam Muggsy, and Digital Tom. Are you ready to unlock your potential? Welcome to the Quantum Healing Show. In this episode, we're going to continue our exploration with the amazing teachings by George. In the last show, George guided us on preparing for the 5D journey into our new world. Today is a follow-up to those teachings. As we dig even deeper into the process of ascension, Dr. Sam Muggsy will share more details and expand on what ascension looks like and the steps we need to take on this profound journey. So let's get ready as we unravel the mysteries of the ascension process together. Dr. Muggsy, how are you doing today? I'm doing fantastic. I have some really exciting news because George has been telling me for a couple of days now that, well, actually a couple of weeks, that what's been happening over the last month, let's say, it's been longer than that, but really specifically over the last month, people have been, because of their frequency, their thinking, the development that they achieve during the 3D life cycle, that they put themselves on a plate. Like think of that like a hovercraft and you're standing on this plate and like a layer cake. And there's multiple ones that are stacked one on top of the other. And what he said was that the people have put themselves on the plate that best represents their thinking and that the galactics have allowed everybody to move to where they need to be. And then it's sort of like a serving plate where all these people get on this one plate. Let's say it's the red plate. It's the lower chakra plate. And then boom, they just slide it to the left to their timeline that they mirror. So as we're ascending, and it's like an elevator, when you get to your floor that mirrors your layer cake, your layer where your plate is, then it's just slid over and that's where you will stay to reincarnate and go back through the life cycle of 3D. Each planetary system of 3D has a specific lesson plan so that people will pick up where they left off. So if you didn't achieve all of your goals in this lifetime, then you will return to the timeline that you mirror. So as these plates were all put one on top of the other, he said it made it very easy that people, because of their frequency, their energy, would gravitate to that plate. So a bunch of people standing on this plate. And then when they reach their floor, as we're ascending, then they just move the plate over. And those people, they die off from this timeline, but they go to the timeline that they mirror and then they start over again. So he's been telling me this for two weeks and it really didn't sink in until today. And I got the full picture. So I'm going to share with you, along with some intel that goes along with what, what is being taught by George. Okay, and I just want to make it perfectly clear. I'm not a prophet. I'm not perfect. I'm learning this as well. So it's very important for me and for George for you to interpret this the way that it suits you apply it the way that it suits you and adjust it to how you need it to be for your reality. 
And at the end of this show, I think you'll understand why this is so important that you always put your thumbprint on everything that you learn, everything that you're going to digest and then spit out for your own reality. This has to be about you because that's ultimately why you're here. You're not here for any other reason, but you and your consciousness development. According to the Galactics, there is nothing, nothing, nothing more important than your consciousness and your development, your maturity, your wisdom, and your knowledge. If you don't have that, then you recycle and you come back and you do it over and over and over again until you finally figure out without consciousness, there is nothing. As a spiritual being, we are here to develop consciousness. And the 3D environment is the hardest. It is the underworld of the fallen angels. And I beg to differ, are they fallen because they really fell? Or did they sign up to fall and create this 3D duality environment? Is it horrendous? Yeah, pretty much. Because they release the people or the souls from the underworld. And we have some monster type beings that walk amongst us that we don't even see, depending on your frequency. So let me get into this from the beginning to the end so that you understand. And I want to make it clear, I'm learning this just like you guys are. I am nothing more than somebody that aspires to learn and somebody that wants to ascend, okay? When we incarnate into the 3D, we come through the West Gate, which is the gate of the underworld. It's pretty much that. It's it's a star gate that we come in. And when we are born into the 3D, We come into the tree of life. If you guys have seen it, it's the 12 balls. uh, And we enter through the bottom. The very bottom ball. When we come through that gate, every time you see a round ball, that represents a gate. That gate then will provide certain elementary and basic type of lessons that we learn as a child maybe um, biological needs, love, how to express ourselves, uh, learning how to communicate, things like that on an elementary level. As we learn that, then we're provided with two choices. If you look at the tree of life, we can go to the right or we can go to the left, depending on the development of the soul. Every soul that is entering into this 3D environment is different. And we have the red gate or the blue gate. Now, are you somebody that is going to want to tackle a harder type of life? Are you wanting to go for a more spiritual type of life? And once you make your decision, then you you can bounce back and forth through the gates to learn the lessons that you decide you want to learn. This is about your destiny path and what you choose to learn before you, you come here. This is your map. This is what you've decided. So as we start to move through life, we are developing the chakra system, which is an energy system within your physical self. Each chakra represents a gate that corresponds with your tree of life. And as you develop that tree of life, it becomes a stairway or a gateway into the higher realms, which we are preparing for ascension. So the top 12th gate is then our ascension gate that has a cross on it. That means it's a gate, it's blocked right now, and you have to have the right consciousness to get through that gate. 
So you had to be able to conquer the different lessons from the tree of life, each ball. And then you had to activate the chakra system as you went. And as you did so, you then have perfected that level of intellect that needed to be achieved. When you did this by behaving in the out world, outside of yourself, you actually are developing the inside of your physical self as well at the same time, because this gateway is also your spinal system. And when you learn how to manipulate or it's, it's energy that you're manipulating, but it's through the development of the chakra system that you move the spinal fluid, which is silver, as it comes down the system, it hits the root chakra and transforms into gold. And then it moves back up the spinal system into the manger, where then you are christened. And the only way to achieve this is if you have developed your golden star. The golden star is what gives you your balance. It also gives you your wisdom and it provides you the avenue for achieving this fifth dimensional life that everybody wants. So the, the golden star that we're supposed to be balancing through experiences, challenges, emotional upsets, breakups. What do you do when you break up? Are you going to have a high road path and realize that you don't belong together and that's not your twin flame? Or are you going to stoop to become the snake and start to do lying, cheating, conning, manipulating, gaslighting, or some of those darker behaviors to entrap the person you want to be with? Are you going to get pregnant? Are you going to use money to manipulate people in your reality to do what you want? Or are you going to offer free will and develop that spiritual prong on your 3D golden star. The next one is finances. A lot of people are out of balance when it comes to their finances because they use money to manipulate other people or they're, they are being manipulated like Hollywood with money being a star, fame, but they have not developed the self. Instead, they took the this, this shortcut, they sold their soul to the devil, literally, that it, it's not so much the devil, it's, it's that you have now entrapped yourself within the 3D world, and depending on what acts you committed for this financial wealth, will dictate how long you stay in this 3D black cube environment. The next prong is your relationship. How do you act in relationships? In the 5D, relationships are going to change because people are going to be together because they're friends, because they respect and trust one another, because they're working as a team to accomplish similar goals. So our relationships, not only with our loved one or our spouse or our mate, it's going to become more sophisticated and free will instead of manipulating. But also we're going to have a different outlook to our children and how we treat our children or the people that we're around the people that we choose to celebrate with and what we're celebrating and the communications that are shared is all going to evolve. So relationship is going to become very important for the balance of 
our inner self or our I am. The next one is career. What are you choosing for a career? Are you just choosing for money? Are you choosing for the right relationship so that you have power? Or are you choosing it for a spiritual growth? Are you following your passion? Or are you allowing people to manipulate you because it's the popular thing to do, but you're willing to sell your soul? You know, you think of when we grew up that everybody wanted to be a doctor or a lawyer. And those are the corrupt, most two most corrupt careers that there are other than stock market, banking, or anything to do with money, okay? So your career is going to be very important in the near future. The next, of course, is going to be the family paradigm. And the family paradigm is actually going to expand to incorporate not only your immediate family, but your career family, your community family, your state family, and then, of course, your country and how you look at your country, what you're contributing to your country, what you want to develop within yourself to make your country better because you are a representative of your country. So there's going to be a big shift in the way that we think of the laws of our country, our constitution, the politics, everything is going to change because now we're going to understand that our country and the paradigm of everything to do within the country itself is going to affect our family. So you're going to see get more people getting involved. And of course, at the center of everything that we're going to be manifesting and creating has to do with God and our relationship with God and how we think of God and how we apply God in our everyday life. When we do godly things, which is written in our cells, you see a spark of energy that happens. And we're actually infusing this godly energy with our soul self every time that we act and behave in a godly manner. So it's a win-win situation. And without it, the physical self dies because you don't have the spark of God. It starts to go out because you're not acting in a godly manner. Every time that it, it's sort of like, and this is my version, but when you please God, he gets excited. And when that happens, it, it literally brings light to your cells, which then affects the chakra system, the energy body, your soul body, your brain ignites. Everything comes together when you walk the path with God. Okay. I know it sounds corny, but it's truly divine. And it's, it's the way it feels good. It feels great. You wake up in the morning, you're like, yay, I'm going to do good stuff today versus what the other side must be feeling. Okay. So as we develop this golden star in this relationship, we actually are also developing the milk and honey within we're putting the baby in the manger, which is our little seed that we turn from silver to gold. And this is where the Mary and Joseph comes in, which is the pineal and the pituitary gland. The pineal gland is amazing because it's literally a crystal. Your bones are a crystal. That's why you have to have minerals. But this crystal inside of you is the, it's, it's a purple type of a crystal that is energized from the 12th dimensions. So it's, it's very important. It's beautiful. It has love in it. It, that's why those pick the color purple is because the purple color is what our pineal gland looks like when it's lit up. Okay. The chakra system is becoming ignited right now and 
each chakra system is going to represent the plate that I was talking about or this layer cake. And as the planetary system, like an elevator, is moving up, when somebody's floor is reached, that is a hue, a color that corresponds with the individual's frequency, that plate then is moved to that timeline, to that new earth. And that's where they are shuffled to best represent the lessons that they need to learn for their new life. And this is what's happening. People that have already crossed over, those are people that have already um, moved to their new 3D environment that they needed to experience. One of the interesting things that I have found watching this and observing, not in judgment, but just in awe of how the galactics have put this whole school together, is that you can start to see people that you didn't know where they fit on a plate. You didn't know what plate they were going to be on. But then all of a sudden you start seeing the same people, type of people moving on to their platform that they're going to get ready to cross over because of the choices that they start making that intuitively they're being migrated to a certain exit plate and they're they're standing there and then it's like as soon as the the door is open then their plate is shuffled off on that timeline that represents who they are it's kind of fascinating to watch if you can do it without judgment so the west gate is the like the left side of the elevator is opening up and it's moving them, moving the people, the souls back to through the West Gate back into a 3D environment. Okay. So what we're wanting to achieve is the success of balancing all 12 of our chakras, which corresponds with the tree of life and those gates reaching the top gate, which is the 12th gate, okay? It, which is an indigo, which is the same color of our pineal gland as when we activate it. What is interesting is that we have learned Ashana Dean, is that her name, Ashana Dean, Tom? Yes, that is correct. Ashana Dean said that the Dracos had conquered this 12th gate and that they were expecting us to try to ascend through the 11th gate, but the 12th gate was conquered. So what has come out recently, allegedly wasn't there, but this is what's being said, that the Dracos had captured this 12th gate. And what they were planning on doing is that as we were ascending through this process of the spinal fluid, but also the 12 stargates to the pineal gland, mentally and physically, that when we reach the top, that they were going to kick us, our plate was going to be kicked off into a black hole into Never Never Land. And then they were prepared to take our place moving into the fifth dimension by using that east gate. So the east gate has a door that was going to open that allows our plate to enter into through the east gate. And the reptilians were planning on going and moving through it with their artificial plate and then they were going to invade the fifth dimension. Because remember, they're trying to get back to the 12th dimension themselves. And they're trying to do it by cheating. And they can't. So the galactics have blocked them from being able to do this. And allegedly, it was around uh, August 17, 2023. 
You want to look this up, okay? So this was pretty interesting. But what I found also interesting that George had taught me is that the caduceus is a sign. So if you think of the pole on the caduceus is the tree of life, which is the stargates that we had to conquer through the chakra system and move up to get our wings to move into this new gate, the 12th gate, which would be the East gate and move into the 5D. But along the way, there's all these snakes and all of these challenges that we would meet that would be able to attract the weak side of our personality that we're developing. So if you're somebody that is a manipulator, then that snake would be able to communicate with you. It's like the Garden of Eden and your Eve. And that snake is trying to entice you into taking the short way out, which is actually the exit out the West Gate and to recycle back into another 3D environment. If you go to Hindu, if you go to India, if you go to Vietnam, if you go to China, if you go to Japan, you will see this information everywhere. You will see it in temples, you will see it in structures. And if you can reach the top, they always call that the elephant brain. That's your maturity. The Ankh then is a sign. If you go back to Egypt and you look at the Ankh, the Ankh is actually a symbol of a captured 3D environment. It is the reincarnation system that they created. I found that interesting. So if you go and look at some artwork, you'll see it where starting 6,500 years ago with those, that that was the fourth root race that they had captured that 12th gate so that we couldn't ascend. The This corresponds with the black cube. The black cube represents the 3D. It is the underworld. It is the hologram or the Tesseract assimilation of our school that we go through. Each where we see a cube that is the matrix, it's actually a Tesseract. And if you look at a Tesseract and how the light moves up, down and sideways, it allows us to maneuver within the holodeck the way we need to go to develop. And if you don't develop properly, then you recycle within this Tesseract. Once you get to the top, then the box opens and you can move into a new area of a higher dimension. However, it was closed. So you had to stay there and achieve these goals within a 6,500 year period. What happened was, is that this black cube moved into a 4D cube, Tesseract, which is multicolored, meaning that anybody could go to where they needed to move to within the fourth dimension so that we could assimilate on these plates that then would correspond with our hue, our color, our aura, which demonstrated the development of our chakra system that was codependent on our beliefs, our actions, and what reality we created. Then when the West Gate floor opened that we mirrored, then that plate then is shuffled out into a new 3D environment and you move back into a 3D cube simulation to the world that you represent. The 5D then is where when you reach the top of the Tesseract and you can get through the cross or the gate of the 13th floor into the exit of the East Gate, you move into the 5D 
tesseract or cube, and that should be a teal blue. It's a different type of it's a different type of lesson plans that we're going to experience that will help to develop our personality to be better souls. That's what why we're here because it's everything is about consciousness. Money, friends, prestige, diamonds, that's all 3D stuff, okay? That's trickery. Once you learn how to use your 5D self, you can manifest whatever you want. So there is no limitations. The world is in abundance. You can get whatever you want because when you learn how to use the universal energies, what happens is, is you create friction. This is what George has taught me, is that, for instance, if I want a, a flourishing business online, then I have to create friction by going to school, learning how to create a website, how to get a server. I need to buy a server. This is all friction that I'm causing within the system. And then due to quantum particles and the magnetic attraction, the universe is programmed to fix and heal the friction that I'm causing. That's how you develop the reality that you want to achieve. So the 3D environment is created by the fallen angels. I think that God created that too. So all of this has to do with part of the lessons that we needed to develop so that we could move into higher consciousness levels of, of schooling, thinking, being. The reptilians are not only just a physical form of what you would think of like the, it's, it's like the dinosaurs evolvement, but, and they too have lower levels and higher levels. I know George works with some of the reptilians on the ship. They're all vegetarian. They're beautiful souls, and they are the ones that are watching over the 3D reptilians here and what lessons they have learned, or did they resort to cannibalism, the Cain and Abel? Did they, did they fall off the wagon, so to speak? They're the ones judging them. Every star system within the Palladian system is here to judge their own people to see if that star seed developed the way that it was they were meant to do. If not, then they're back in the escalator and waiting for their west gate door to open. The jinn are also an electric type being that you can't really see but they are attracted to a specific type of individual that has a lower frequency. If you drop your frequency by being a darker being, con artist, lying, cheating, stealing, this is why you really don't need any policing is because we are policing ourselves with these entities that are outside of our visibility spectrum. We have these electrical beings, light beings that are around us all the time. You're either attracting benevolent, if you're bad, it's malevolent. And if you're hurting people, then the light beings on the other side of the spectrum are gonna be hurting you. Depending on what you give is what you're gonna get. That is the receivership. So the fallen angels on the 12th gate captured the top, the Ankh, the, the, the world on the caduceus. They captured that until we could ascend and we could develop the chakra system within us and conquer those various gates within the tree of life. I think that's pretty cool. Also, the phoenix is us, that we are rising and that we are now 
coming to light, our fire is burning, and we are going to be rebirthed into a new uh, reality is what is happening. And this only happens once every 6,500 years or so. Uh, you either become the eagle or you become the snake. If you're the snake, then you haven't developed yet. If you look at the stargates, once you start seeing stargates, they are depicted within alleged calendars. I'm going to give you a hint. I'm not going to tell you what it is. But it, when you see a stargate for the 3D, it always has a monster in the middle. And that's because the 3D is about monster and developing that monster into a soul, a highly evolved soul that has a spiritual personality. That is the coal to the diamond. So we are now elevating ourselves to this 12th gate so that we can now move from the east gate into the fifth dimension. And that's where we're at now. That's what we went through. This was our lesson plan. A lot of people could hear this show and they would have no idea what it means. It will mean nothing to them because if you look at the spine, if somebody is on, say, the lower level vertebrae, they can't hear what the top of the vertebrae are saying, maybe the ones that are in the head. So it's like different radio stations. They have a different frequency. And even though we're all on the same planet, if you look at it vertically instead of, if you look at it horizontally instead of vertically, you can see it's more like layer cakes just like the spine has different vertebrae and each individual, according to their thinking, their behavior will reside in a specific vertebrae. And that will tell you exactly what chakra was not developed. And then when the gate opens, the West gate opens that they mirror, then they will be leaving this plane and moving to a 3D environment to continue their lesson. They will meet up with us soon. Apparently there's three more waves that they'll have opportunities to join us again once they've developed that indigo crystal within the pituitary gland. So that is what George has been teaching me. I hope that makes sense to you guys. It's really exciting and bravo for you that are still pure bloods and those that are now resting and getting ready to move into the East Gate and over to the 5D. So, yay, we made it. Okay, you guys, there you go. We love you. Good luck, and we'll see you on the next video. A goodbye for now, and we will catch you guys on the next episode of the Quantum Healing Show. Until next time, keep building your bridge to abundance and prosperity. For more information on the Quantum Healing Show, please visit quantumhealing.club. That's quantumhealing.club. Until the next Quantum Healing Adventure, take care and stay enlightened. you guiding you through the fight is won the war is done bask in the glory of god may the days unfold with peace
Moments linger in gentle breeze Every road guiding where you aim to be Choices may live free If they choices, choose what's true The one that 